We have one vaccine study that's been a success. That's called the Thai vaccine study or RV144. It showed a modest rate of protection from HIV acquisition in individuals who got a combination vaccination strategy. Unfortunately, we tried to improve upon those vaccine components with next generation products. And we evaluated that vaccine combination in a trial called HVTN 702, HIV Vaccine Trial Network 702. Unfortunately, that strategy didn't work. There were many infections in individuals who got the vaccine as in individuals who got the placebo. We don't yet know exactly why that may be the case. It may be that in the 702 study, individuals engaged in higher risk behaviors and maybe the vaccine couldn't overcome the numbers of exposures in that particular population. That study was done in Southern Africa. However, there are a lot of exciting newer generation vaccine products that we're just starting to explore. And I think there's a reason to be optimistic about some of these newer strategies that will hopefully be able to elicit a neutralizing antibody response, the kind of response we now think is probably key to prevent people from becoming HIV infected. There's a prototypic study, a broadly neutralizing monoclonal antibody as really a PrEP, some people call it a vaccine study, but it's really a PrEP study. It's giving a broadly neutralizing monoclonal antibody to people to try to have them have the kind of immune response we think is gonna be protective. And there are two studies, one focusing on women in Southern Africa, one focusing on men who have sex with men and transgender women uh, in the Americas uh, that are testing this potential strategy. If these studies are successful, then we'll at least understand the kind of immune response that we want to generate uh, with a effective preventative vaccine and then the challenge will be to develop the products that elicit that kind of immune response.